Hey y'all, I'm Cindy. Welcome to Cindy Hart's Crochet Podcast, where we talk about crochet and crochet accessories. And I wish I knew what that new building was. <laughs> Today is Tuesday, October 15th, 2019. It's about 5 p.m. I got to work this morning pre-dawn, so I didn't do my video before work today um, because between physical therapy and leaving early another day, I'm making up time before it gets here. But anyway, so it's kind of a gloomy, rainy day here, not too cold. luck with the the one that goes behind their ears or behind their neck or anything even though they're inside dogs um, I never saw that that ever took effect so I didn't use it very long after they were a little older but anyway this chewable thing does good and um, they both chew it without me having to manually put it down their throats so anything they think is a treat and that you don't treat it like medicine they're gonna eat it <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna run by and by the vet and uh, go to the house give them that and then I think I gotta pick mama up and take her to the do a little running around before her trip on Thursday some of her last minute stuff, pharmacy and money getting and all that good stuff as you vibrate on down the road. Um, and then too, today is the 15th, which means it is Zelda's birthday. Yay! Hercules, Hercules, whatever she does. I I just don't 
know where or what. I'm hankering for some hibachi, some um, Japanese steakhouse, but it's a little doom and gloom out here today. I may uh, <laughs> drop on into the Chick-fil-A or Milo's or something. But, and then I may wait and celebrate this weekend so we can do it big. I'm on a pause and I'll be back. Alrighty then, I'm back. Went to the vet and they've always got to talk about my sweet boy, Goliath, when I go in there. Because back when we had a hard time with him back in February and one of the vets wanted him, said he had an inoperable tumor. What did the skeleton say? Let me see. What did the skeleton say to his dog? Don't look, don't look. Huh? What did the skeleton say to his dog? Hmm. It's almost like knock knock who's there. You give up? <laughs> what the skeleton said to his dog? <laughs> bon appetit! Ah! How cute is that? That was on my vet sign. My vet's so cool. So anyway, they were talking about Goliath, and they always do. So, yeah, that stuff's called Brevecta. And then I got some good smelling candles, pumpkin and spice. And these are pet odor candles, even though I would buy them even if I didn't have pets. And Granny Smith. And they're not, like, overpowering or, um, but I sit there and sniff every one of them. They have... They have different ones per seasons, you know. But these are the two because I don't like anything that has that really sweet sugar smell. So, those big candles burn forever. And like I say, they're not overpowering or anything. And they're only like $12 a piece. I think they're like 50 hours. Eh, I can't I don't remember the hours. But anyway, so what they always, once they realize who I am and because Goliath's name is always on his stuff when I go on his medicine or pills or whatever I'm going to get him, flea medicine, when I go, depending on who's there, they'll come out, oh, sorry for the jittery jitteries again, y'all been into my coffee while I was in there, y'all got the jitters, um, because when we took him there back in February, and any of y'all who've been with me a while knows has seen me cry, has cried with me and all that good stuff when he was in bad shape. He had a big huge, oh sorry thing come up under his neck and we had, a, there was one vet or a vet assistant or something uh, because the vet wasn't in that day told me he had that it wasn't good and it was it was bad and, and they said it was an inoperable tumor and I was like nope, not an option, <laughs> fix him anyway I mean you know I didn't say fix him but I said no I I don't believe that I just don't believe it because tumors don't come up within I think it was a week or less but anyway um so then when his doctor came back in to see him in February they put him on a they did a biopsy of that thing under his neck. They did x-rays. The first time he's ever been sedated, and him's 12 year, him, it, he is 12 years old now. Um, they did all these x-rays, found another thing, big mass of, uh, around his stomach, and said his um, prostate was enlarged. But then, once they did the biopsy they took four big chunks out of that thing in his neck and um, they said it was not cancerous but it was some kind of infection that they couldn't say where it came from but that he could even get it from like a scratch on his foot and out of a germ in the yard or something like that so they put him on uh, some heavy duty antibiotics and anti-inflammatories and about three months later I mean, it took a full three months of being on these 
hardcore antibiotics and then he, he was on extended uh, let's see after he finished the anti-inflammatories they put him on steroid shots and so it took about three months before that thing finally went down and he was back to himself so thank you Lord a lot of people helped me pray for that so that's my that's my main man but anyway so long story longer uh, chicks in the office when I take him in, okay, we know Goliath is rotten, right? <laughs> when I take him in, he will not walk across the slick tile floor they have. It's not tile, but tile-ish. We know them, them big squares. But anyway, like he's in doctor's office and stuff. So he will not walk on the slick floor. So I learned this back when we put um, new hardwood-ish floors in the kitchen and he busted his butt and ever since then I had to have rugs across that floor or he would not go across it so when Renee was here in February and we took him in and then I think when she came back in July we took him back to be re rechecked but um so we had to take these carpets and lay it <laughs> I bought two six or seven foot runners pretty much and laid them down I laid one down, and Goliath, I mean, Goliath wouldn't go across that floor at the doctor's office, across the waiting room or anything, and him being a pit, we always clear the whole waiting room out, make sure there's no dogs in there before I ever take him in, and he's on a full body harness, and he's never been, you know, a bad, bad dog or anything like that, but, and then he's just a big old softy, especially when you see that uh, me and Renee had one of those carpets a piece and excuse the jittery jitters again and um I would lay one down and Goliath would walk down it oh my goodness and then Renee would go in front of me and lay one down and he'd walk six or seven more feet and then you know it would continue like this until he got into the doctor's room. So now they laugh about him and, and always ask me about him because um, we say that's his magic carpet ride. <laughs> and it's just so cute. And he's rotten, so yes, he, he deserves it and will always get special treatment. But anyway, so but until you see that actually happening, you would never understand. So next time we do that, maybe I'll see see if I can get some video of that. So anyway, I'm home. I'm gonna give them their medicine. Then I'm gonna go get my mama and go do whatever she needs to do before she gets ready to go out of town. And I guess this wraps it up for the night. May try to go uh, have dinner for Z's birthday. Happy birthday, Zelda. <laughs> Hope it's been a good one. Hope you felt good above all. And I guess we will see y'all later. Love y'all. Bye.